So good evening, uh, everybody. It is uh, Sunday, uh, March, I should know the date, March 22nd. Um, this is the fourth Sunday of Lent. I'm glad you're able to join us tonight for uh, the service of Compline, uh, which begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer, which will begin in just one moment. Also wanted to uh, share a note of gratitude uh, for uh, your engagement with our services, both um, our daily Compline services, as well as with our uh, service of Holy Eucharist. Uh, that Reverend Anne and myself uh, were able to live stream uh, yesterday that has had over 350 views um, and uh, what has been particularly uh, beautiful to see particularly during um, the uh, sign of uh, the peace uh, the virtual sign of the peace we had uh, many people write a comment saying peace to other people in the um, posting section underneath. So it was quite beautiful. Um, we are going to be offering uh, a live stream service um, from All Saints Hall uh, next Sunday at 10.15 a.m. So look for information uh, from uh, St. John's about that. Again, that will be uh, next Sunday at 10.15 a.m. Uh, for those of you also, I uh, encourage you, uh, we were able to, hopefully you were able to view the live stream from uh, our uh, diocesan cathedral, the Church of the Incarnation, which was, uh, I believe it was at 11 a.m. today that, that uh, most of us signed in and logged in for that, um, and that was a quite moving service as well. So again, lots of ways to stay connected, lots of ways to continue to be the church, uh, together uh, in this very strange and difficult time. So let us begin uh, again with the Order of Compline, which starts on page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If you would please join me in saying together Psalm 4, which can be found on page 128. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You have set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace, at once I fall asleep, for only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our service continues on the bottom of page 131 in the Book of Common Prayer. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, 
and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Our service continues on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us say together the prayer our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, we can offer our intercessions and thanksgivings. Uh, Thanksgiving for today is uh, the many ways that so many of you are remaining present uh, to each other uh, as uh, the Church of St. John's. Uh, a th- tremendous um, uh, thank you to all uh, the medical personnel um, who are caring, um, not only uh, for those who may be suffering with COVID-19, but who continue to care for all the ill um, during a very difficult and troubling time. Uh, especially uh, thankful uh, for those um, uh, members of our church uh, leadership, our vestry and our various committees who continue to do uh, such excellent work um, for the glory of God uh, at this time. I pray for uh, all those who may be feeling uh, especially lonely or isolated uh, during this period of time when so many of us uh, have to uh, be alone and where we have to have a certain amount of social distance from each other. Pray that the Holy Spirit uh, may be a companion to us in a special way, so that we uh, know that we are never truly alone, uh, and we are always present uh, to each other as the communion of saints, and also that God is present to us as Holy Spirit. So all those things that are on your mind and heart uh, this day, uh, we offer them all up. Uh, to God and to God's heart, uh, that God may receive them and may hold us close. Amen. Our service continues on the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you for uh, joining once again with our nightly service of Compline from uh, our Facebook page. Uh, so grateful for your presence, uh, for your prayers, and for the communion that we can have in this way. Um, please take good care of yourself. Continue to wash your hands um, and to pray for others and continue to be the church. Uh, have a blessed and peaceful night.